episode of Vegan Point. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about things that I wish were vegan. Um, and these are eyeshadow palettes, to be specific. And these are not new releases. Um, and I just like barely found out about new makeup or, and even this makeup that palettes that I'm going to be talking about some of them I just found out about um, but that's because I, I took a break from all social media um, except for, except for like watching news on YouTube other than that I really wasn't watching too much YouTube and I got rid of my Facebook account um, I don't know, I just need a distance from it all. Um, so the first thing that I want to talk about is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance. So ever since I saw this palette, and by the time that I saw this, I mean this, like, it, it had been like a very long time since they released it. But since the first time I saw this palette, I have always wanted a vegan version of it. Um, and I always thought that I would never find one, and I still think that I probably won't. Um, but I just really like those um, colors of Love Letter and Venetian Red. And so I tried looking for dupes not too long ago, and I saw that there was um, a Makeup Revolution dupe, but I'm just not interested in Makeup Revolution. I don't even think they're cruelty free. Um, if you know, uh, put it down in the comments. And I highly doubt that they're vegan, and it just, it's just not a brand that I'm interested in. Um, and then I saw the W7, and that looked interesting to me, but they don't, on their website, they don't even have an ingredients list, so I, I just can't buy it not knowing if it has carmine or not in it. So I, I just couldn't do it. Um, and then there were some other, like there was the bad, I think it was bad habits, but now that I'm back on social media and, um, and I saw that, brand and that I don't remember the name of the palette that's supposed to be a dupe for this but then come to find out that that um, doesn't that brand doesn't even exist anymore so what I ended up doing which is very uncharacteristic of me is um, buying the dreamy 2 from Nabla uh, for this shade right right here uh, yeah let me appreciate it better so that's what I ended up doing because I really uh, wanted I really wanted um, a dupe for the Venetian red and I got this from the Nabla Dreamy 2 palette um, and then what I ended up doing for Love Letter uh, because I also looked at Makeup Geek but their anarchy is discontinued um, and that's probably from a long time ago, but again, I didn't even know. Um, uh, I can't reach it. Maybe for this color, the Berry, berry Bite is supposed to be a dupe for the Love Letter. So, um, again, it's not very like me just to buy a palette just because I'm obsessing over... Um, one color in the palette um, but I didn't because I don't know it just it was just biting at me that I couldn't have if I couldn't have like a whole palette of this dupe um, of a ABH mononatsas dupe then I was like I'd be okay with just having a dupe for those two colors so that's what I ended up doing so it's really frustrating because I know that ABH can do vegan um, palettes. Like I just saw that their Norvina Pro palettes were vegan and even the newer one. Um, 
I just don't see myself using all those colors in that Nalgina uh, Pro Palette. That I, I just like at least with these, they're they're shades that like for at least for the Dreamy Two are things that I I like. I can see myself using. Like I could see myself using like these neutral colors, um, and but with like some of the Norvina ones, I I just don't know if I could see myself like even wanting to use them, except for like the pink ones and the last one. Um, so that's why like. It's really frustrating because I know that they can do it. So come on, ABH, just just make this vegan, reformulate it, so like people like myself can buy it. Because if she, if Norvina or ABH were ever to do um, a reformulation that's vegan in this palette, I would buy it. I'd buy it, even if. Even with the ones that, I've heard that, that I have, like with the Dreamy 2 and the other Poison Garden one, um, if I could find, like, if I could have the original palette, uh, I would prefer that. So, another brand that kind of like disappoints me at times is Melt because they have the most gorgeous looking uh, color schemes. They have like um, on the Vida palette, like the packaging is beautiful. But the thing is that they're not vegan, and I know that I I don't see I didn't I don't see it on here for some reason. But um, the Muerte palette I would want too. I would want I would want both, but I can't have either because they're not vegan. And again, um, you might be saying that this release is from a while ago, but again, I just started finding out about all these things. But I know that regardless um, if this were to still be in existence and if it were to be made vegan, I would buy it. Um, also, the Baby Girl stack, I just think it's very pretty, the pinks. Um, and even the red, like, I think it's very beautiful, and I would have bought it had it been vegan. Even, like, even with it being pricey, I would have bought it. Um, another thing that, like, I start, like, catching up slowly on makeup, and then I find out that there's this Wet n Wild My Melody collection. Um, I'm not sure if it's called My Melody collection because I think they have like another um, character as well. But I, I really like My Melody, um, and I would have bought this. I would have bought this, but it has carmine in it, and um, and I think the brushes they don't they don't have it on the Target. Um, I didn't see it on the Target website, but maybe I didn't like look hard enough, but they had cute brushes and I would have bought those. But now kind of, I like find out that they're not cruelty free anymore. So that was very a big disappointment. Because Wet n Wild is a drugstore brand and it's affordable and it's like ten dollars, it's something that um, for me, it's doable, but then to come to find out, like, that it, they're not even cruelty-free. What a while. Get it, get it together again. Just be cruelty-free again. Do what you need to do, because I know I'm not buying anything, um, until that happens. And then, um, ColourPop also makes me sad. I know that um, again, I'm barely learning about things that have came out, um, maybe not even recently. Um, I just always feel that most of the ColourPop eyeshadow palettes are the ones that I'm interested in, 
tend to be non-vegan. And this, um, the Sailor Moon collection, when I saw it, um, I think I saw it in, in a YouTube video and I forgot who was talking about it, but I wanted it. I wanted that eye shadow palette. And so then I go up on the website and then it doesn't say vegan. So that was a letdown. And I'm just not really interested to buy their, the lipsticks of this or glosses or whatever they are. Um, just because I feel like I have so many lipsticks that I, I, I actually need to use them. Um, I guess I didn't say this either, but when I first started channel, my channel, like I was barely getting into makeup and like I didn't even know how to put on eyeshadow and I still don't know how to put on eyeshadow but because it was vegan and they were beautiful like I bought things um then I stopped using them so I, I I'm I'm just not interested in, in um buying any lipsticks and and if I did buy like a lipstick it, it'd be because it's like a shade that I really really want um and those I'm just not interested in at all. So, uh, another one that I um, didn't put on here, um, and I'm not, I, I know that I really wanted it, but I don't know if I didn't buy it. I think it wasn't vegan. I think that's why I didn't buy it. Is the Urban Decay Electric Electric Lights or Nights? Somebody please tell me which one it is. Um, it was like very colorful, um, and it just looked really pretty. Um, you know what? It's it's gonna annoy me. So let's look it up because Urban Decay. Hey, okay. ah, I can't spell. Electric palette. Um, it might not be on their website anymore because they probably don't sell that anymore. Yes, Urban Decay Electric Eyeshadow Palette. When I saw that pink, ah, I, I like. I was like, ooh, I have to have it, but I, I don't think it's vegan. I don't know, just the packaging on it with all the colors on the front, beautiful, and the colors themselves seem really, like, interesting. So, come on, Urban Decay. And, I, and Urban Decay does, like, uh, other stuff that is vegan. Oh, like I think maybe their like their foundation is vegan. I don't know. I haven't like really bought too many things from Urban Decay. I really don't know why either, um, because I know that they have vegan items, but I, I just this is the one thing that I wanted from them, and it's not vegan. So, <sighs> come on, brands. You're, if you're going to be mainstream, you got to be visionary, right? And you got to be innovative. And being innovative is seeing the world needs to be plant-based. So make your stuff vegan. Ugh, frustrating. Um, so, yeah, so those are the things I wish were vegan that are not and cruelty-free or cruelty free um, if you found this to be informative please give it a like please subscribe to my channel I know that I want to do another video on um, what to do when your makeup goes bad because I've I own three foundations and I think they expired because it's been at least three years since having them and maybe when one even like five years now um, apparently they expire and I didn't want to throw it out so I I'm trying to find a, a 
creative way of using it, but without having to use it on my face. Um, so I definitely want to make that video. So until that video, have a good day, stay safe, bye.